The National Football League has traveled south of the border as we are in Mexico City, Mexico on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Buffalo Bills. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Mexico City. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Okay, After the break. loss to start out, here's second and 11. Hurry, 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 hurry! Another run here with Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the go, defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Flush to his right. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing his hurts. This will be caught by Brown. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. On the move to his left. Yeah, that will be incomplete. I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Back deep, Naheem Hines. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Allen in the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Allen looking for Diggs and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. On first and ten, it's Sanders. 
Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Ready. Heavy set out there on third and one. Ready. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts, eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Well, certainly not how they drew it up. A fourth down gamble turns into a fourth down scramble. But all is well. First down. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes hey. off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. But first down, Hurts. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. a handoff to Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Throwing his Allen on third. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Hurry, hurry! They'll run with 
with Sanders up the middle. And some space here. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 61 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackle. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll go again with Sanders. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe that they can keep this up. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? <laughs> Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the 24, Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And so the last three drives, you've got two interceptions and a fumble. I think we know why they're losing right now. Without question, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take care of the football, number one, maybe they're not having this deficit. And number two, maybe they actually have the lead. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Come back in! Come back in! Hurts. Being chased out left. 
Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 73 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. The has been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Sanders. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second and goal from the six this time. Another run with Sanders. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Elliott good on the extra point. And that makes our score 17-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Now left side on the swing pass, and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try to put some points on the board. And yeah, the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Eagles. 
Hey, I'm all about defense forcing plays and, and, and getting takeaways. But an interception and two fumbles in their last three offensive possessions. Time to readjust. Yeah, they, you, you can't just give all the credit to the defense on that. They've got to look in the mirror and take the blame themselves and figure out how to not do it anymore. Draft 50, draft 50. 19 tight, 19 tight. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. That's a step in the right direction defensively here because you're facing this sizable deficit. They're going to need more plays like that. A good sack, though. Good effort there. And what you're hoping is, as you said, a step in the right direction. And that's under pressure again. And down he goes again. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Let's go now. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Allen. Throwing the out route and Crowder makes the catch. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. Here's Allen. And he fires one, but incomplete. This has kind of been the story all night long, hasn't it? An inability to really get much done on third downs, and it's costing them. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And the deficit will stay at three scores. Partner, this is certainly turning out to be one of those days. Here we are in the second half. 
They're being shut out. Offense is doing nothing. And you're just saying, please, come on, give us something here to your kicker. But even this is no good. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run.